guys, welcome back to another video. So, today I am going to be doing an update video on the video I did shaving my face. First of all, I just want to say that I am filming two videos today, so in tomorrow's video I'm going to have the same makeup and same clothes. I just couldn't bother to get changed. So yeah, just in case you guys are wondering. And then secondly, never in a million years would I have thought that video would get so much attention like it did. Like, I'm... Um, First of all, I'm really thankful, but it's just such a random video to get so many views and interaction, you know? Um, but I guess a lot of people are curious about hair removal, you know? Not a lot of people talk about it. I mean, nowadays people do actually on YouTube. I just feel like people are curious and I feel like I'm talking about myself here. Before, I just felt like when I saw these YouTubers talk about hair removal, it was kind of like confirmation that I'm not the only one that has hair. So I feel like that's why people are really interested in hair, hair removal videos, because literally everyone has hair, okay? Um, unless you're blessed from the high heavens and you don't have one single hair on your body. We all suffer from hair. It's not something we should be embarrassed about. Like, everyone has it. It's not a big deal. And I'm just here to share my experience on how I remove it and what I remove and it's just my sharing my experience with you guys. So I'm doing this video to address some of the comments that I've seen in the comment section from that video and to also talk about some assumptions or I don't even know what they're called but assumptions that people have on shaving face on like so shaving your face especially with women for some reason. And I also wanted to give you a little bit of an update on my laser hair removal and on my laser hair removal on my face. Um, I recently got that for the first time and I just wanted to share that with you as well. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. The thing that's been bugging me a lot is all these men coming on my video. I don't have a problem with men coming in my video and you know you're just curious and you know you want to see makeup stuff I don't have any problem with that I have a problem when men come on my video and say what women should be doing and should not be doing I've seen so many guys comment on my video saying women shouldn't shave oh it's disgusting like why are you shaving women can shave if they want to if they want to use Nivea men balm on their face they can do if they want to use a Gillette razor on their face they can do they can do whatever they want. So yeah, I just wanted to address that. Women can shave, it's normal. A lot of you guys have said in the comments store that you shave as well. So guys, if you are watching, I hope you've learned something today. Women do shave, it's nothing new and doesn't change anything. It's just that they wanna get rid of their hair, that's it. So yeah, now that I've addressed that, I've also seen a lot of comments about having thicker hair after shaving your face. So I feel like with my personal experience, my hair grew the same, exactly the same. And I personally don't think hair grows thicker after shaving or faster. It can be faster sometimes. Like my brother, he shaves his face. He says that it doesn't grow thicker, but it grows a bit faster sometimes for him when he shaves his face. When people say, oh, don't do it, your hair's going to grow thicker, you're going to end up with a beard, I didn't know the Chewbacca shaves. I kind of laughed at that comment, actually. It was really funny. Yeah, your hair is not going to grow thicker. The reason why you think it's growing thicker is because you are cutting the hair and then the tip is blunt. And because the tip is blunt, when it grows out, you think that it looks thicker and feels thicker, but it's just literally the blunt that you're seeing and feeling. Um, and then once it grows, it kind of thins out and looks more natural. So it's not your hair growing thicker, it's just that because you've cut it, it's just a blunt. It's not like a, a soft tapered hair, you know? That's the best way I could explain it. And it's also been scientifically proven that your hair can't grow thicker or quicker or change colour after shaving your face. Um, you can search it up on Google. Um, I've done a bunch of research on it, guys. It's been scientifically proven, so I just want to get that out there and maybe educate some people when they say, oh, you're going to get a beard after that. You're not. It's Come on, guys. We're like in 2017. Just go on Google, do your research, and it really says on there that your hair can't grow thicker. But I also believe that each individual is different, so everyone has their own different experience and it might not grow thicker for me, but then it might grow thicker for someone else. No matter what science says, your own body is always different and anything new or different could happen any day. The stupid dryer keeps making noise. But I hope I'm making sense when I do talking videos. Sometimes I feel like I don't, I'm just rambling, but I do hope I'm making sense. So this whole idea of like 
hair growing thicker after shaving it's not true well for me at least with my personal experience it didn't grow thicker at all um it grew the same and i've actually been enjoying shaving my face um it goes super smooth and it's just super convenient guys if i wasn't getting a laser i would just stick to my waxing method but then again people have things against waxing as well so you can never win it's just about finding the method that you prefer and that works best for you there was a lot of comments about why am i sharing this with people like why am i telling people to do this i wasn't telling anyone to do shave their face i was just simply sharing my experience with you guys if you want to shave your face that's your choice and i'm just there to kind of share my experience and maybe you can I don't know, gain some knowledge or see what happens when you shave your face, you know. Shaving may not be for everyone, but for me, I kind of like it and um, I had a really good experience with it. So yeah, that's the reason why I did the video and I had to get laser, so shaving was my only option and I thought why not document it and share it with everyone. I also got a lot of questions about spots and breakouts after shaving my face. My skin is looking good. Um, I mean I haven't been most confident about it lately but that's a totally different reason that I'll address later on in the video but overall like my cheeks feel super soft and there's no difference from when I used to shave till now you know it's just the same and it's just much softer in terms of breakouts and stuff I didn't get any breakouts but again that de depends on the person Someone like my sister, I'm pretty sure if I shaved her face she would probably get some breakouts because her skin is super super sensitive. So it really depends on yourself and I always say do a little patch test on a little section and see how you get on with it rather than doing your whole face in one go. And that goes for any product or any method you're using for the first time on your face especially. I would also say that the blades that I got from eBay are really really good and you want to make sure that you're using alcohol to sanitize them so that you don't get breakouts so you're kind of like preventing it but yeah I wouldn't go for like erasers because I mean you could do but I just feel like I would cut my skin and I would end up getting little moles on my face so that's why I really like the razors because they kind of have this little thing on their blade that I don't know prevents cutting your skin or like getting too close to the skin you could use some type of oil or shaving cream on your face if you wanted to with the shaving method you can totally do that i just like to do it dry especially with the razor that i use so yeah those are all the things that i wanted to address about the shaving face video and i wanted to answer some of your questions and give you guys a little update on my shaving face experience it's been doing good for me so yeah now onto my laser hair removal experience which was kind of related to that because there's that was the whole reason I shaved my face in the first place. As you guys know, I have been getting my laser hair removal from Premier Laser Clinic in London. They have a bunch of branches in London. I had three sessions on my lower legs, which honestly, like, I don't even need to shave much anymore. I did three sessions, but they do recommend six to eight sessions. But I feel like I could do with maybe, like, three more sessions, which I will definitely get in the future. But I also did two sessions on my face. I have to be honest with you guys, on the first session it really really hurt and I'm okay with pain but it hurt. Um, I kept like t like twitching and felt, I don't even know how to kind of explain it but it feels like really hot and it zaps at you like a prickle. It's like a prickle basically but the prickle is very strong especially in these areas. The upper lip area is super sensitive as well. Um, this bit here as well is quite sensitive, the forehead sensitive, but the most bit was like this side for some reason. Um, this side was okay, but it was upper lip, this side, my forehead, and right here. In the first session, she did have to stop quite a few times because it was quite painful in my opinion. And I don't know why it was like that in my first session, maybe my skin was not used to it at all. And then after my first session, a few days after, my skin really flared up. It was literally like a heat rash on my skin. And I kind of panicked, but they were super, super kind. I sent them an email and they called me up and they were like, are you okay? Do you want to come over? But by the time they called me, like it all went down. So I was like, I'm totally fine because I took some antihistamine. So some, um, what's it called? Puritan. Um, that kind of brought it down a bit. It was basically my skin reacting to the laser treatment and it was kind of like a heat rash and it 
went all the way. I kind of panicked because it was the first time and I didn't know. But my friend Nina got gets laser hair removal on her face all the time. She's had so many sessions. She was like, it's normal, just get Puritan. Like, it's just a heat rash. And I did that and it just went away. So, yeah, it wasn't a big deal in the end. I did overreact a bit, but... It's my skin, like I do overreact about my skin sometimes. In my second session, it went really well. Like she went much quicker than the last time and my skin did not flare up, didn't react. It was so much better, guys. So yeah, that's what I feel about like the pain and how my skin reacts to it. I feel like my skin's used to it now. I did take some Puritan again afterwards. So like just to prevent any reaction, but it's going really well like literally I don't even need to shave my face there's no hair I had very fine hair on my face anyways it was just that there was a lot and it's all gone um there is a little bit of growth but I don't see it as much as I did before if you have much thicker hair than me or much more hair than me you probably need more a few more sessions but it's doing so good guys my skin looks amazing my skin looks so soft, so even, and my makeup applies on it so nicely. So I've been really happy with the laser hair removal on my face. My legs, I can't even tell you guys, like I just love it, it's so convenient. And I, I know, I've said this in my previous laser hair removal video, but I know that I'm going to be getting my full body done, because it's just so convenient. I feel like with Premier Laser Skin um, Clinics, they do have a special laser that they have for fairer skin tones, and then... They have one that's for tan to deeper skin tones, which is amazing. So they use the deeper skin tone one on me, and I was like a skin tone four, number four. And it's not IPL, it's another form of laser which is much more um, successful, I would say. It works better and it gives better results. And I can definitely tell you that after two... After the first session, I didn't even need to shave again to go to my second session, which was like six weeks later. So... Yeah, I've been really pleased with their laser treatment. It's just so good. So I definitely recommend, if you're going to go get laser hair removal from someone, go to Premier Laser Skin because their laser treatment, their laser machines that they have is so good. And I feel like you'll get more worth out of your money if you go to them. I do have makeup now, but I just wanted to give you a little close-up of my skin at the moment. I did get laser a few days ago, so... There's some tiny bumps, but nothing big, nothing major. And bear in mind, my face hasn't been shaved in over a month now, so I'm really pleased. Really pleased. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say about my laser hair removal experience. I definitely will continue and until I have the least amount of hair possible on my body. <laughs> I do have a special promotion that I have with Premier Laser Skin at the moment for you guys. And basically if you quote Anushka, so my name Anushka, if you purchase any hair removal package before the 31st of November, you can get a free luxury facial. You also have to make sure to follow Premier Laser Skin on Instagram, which I'll link in the info box, so that you can use the quote code. If you are thinking to get laser hair removal, I definitely recommend Premier Laser Skin. And don't forget to use the quote code if you are thinking to go to them and get a treatment. And again, the offer does last until the 31st of November, so it's limited time only. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you found this video helpful. And make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more hair removal videos. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!